the giant Earthship Ark, drifting through deep space over 800 years into the far future. Its passengers, the descendants of the last survivors of the dead planet Earth, locked in separate worlds, heading for destruction. Unless three young people can save the Star Lost. found them, Mr. Smith, wandering around the filtration plant. We'll get to them in a minute. Censoring devices in central master tubes and all associated tubes for traffic and supply indicate no military probes, no civilian traffic. Check that again. No matter how sophisticated their anti-detection methods, they've got to show up on the screen. What do you make of it, Trent? I don't think it's a probe. I don't think it's any kind of military reconnaissance at all. The report checks out, Mr. Smith. Heat, sound, and movement sensors all register zero. And who the devil are these three? They could be spies. Infiltrating to test our defenses. Or maybe... Yes? Three innocent travelers who stumbled on the vicinity by sheer chance? They came armed. Somehow they got in. Out of sensor range and then through impregnable defenses. Now tell me, how do they do all of that without some sort of sophisticated military intelligence and support. This is Mr. Smith, president of the Biosphere. I'm Trent, aide de camp. You will answer all questions put to you. Your names and origins, your military rank, the names of your superiors, and the details of your mission. You really think we're spies, don't you? Do we look like spies? We don't even know where we are. What could we possibly want from you? All right, then. Advance agents, the first prongs of a fifth column. Well, you've gotten in, but you're never getting out. Trent, increase the guard. I want censoring devices to sweep every tube around the clock. Oh, an institute red alert. Punch up red alert. Did you people really think that you'd find us such an easy mark? Well, 
You'll tell us everything we want to know. Put them into interrogation. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Just wait a minute. Do you really think we're spies? Well, you listen to me. We're from Cypress Corners. We were coming through an iris looking for help to get the Ark back on course and avoid a collision with a solar star. The next thing we know, we're in your biosphere. A door or an iris, whatever it is that you call it, closed behind us. We couldn't even find a seam in the metal. And your guards arrest us. We've done nothing to you. What threat could we possibly be? by remote control every moment you're reconnoitering the main gate. And those cover stories, the weakest that an inferior intelligence service could devise. We'll get the truth from you. Electronic interrogation. the main gate, pour in your soldiers and weapons and annihilate us. We're not enemies to anyone. We're our enemies. No. You're cowards to come without uniforms. Liars to deny the truth. No. You're nothing. You're worth nothing to anyone now. You're spies who have been exposed, captured, and sentenced to death. We're not spies. No. Your allies can't help you now. Do you understand? No. You can't be rescued. You can't be saved. Tell us everything you know. You're superior. Size and armaments of your forces. There aren't any! We are not your enemies! We're, we're not even soldiers. We don't have any weapons. We're telling you the truth. You're going to tell me the truth, Readout is positive, aren't you? For all of them. I've been programmed to lie, of course, to give not the slightest sign in pulse rate, psychological reaction, emotional stability. The best programming I've ever seen. Which biosphere can possibly have made such progress? They're dangerous, Trent. You mark my words. They're from Cypress Corners, an agricultural society. They're simple, earthy people. They don't know how to lie. Uh, you've been working too hard, Trent. I think uh, you better take some sick leave. All right, bring them out of it. Oh, there now, you see? You feel better, don't you? And then you don't recall a thing, do you? And all without the salubrious benefit of the grape. I've told you a dozen times, Trent. You need a dose of this rest machine yourself. How about you, mister? You feel better now? Say, look, why don't we break some bread together? I can't think of a better way to get to know each other. Hmm? Here you 
are, my dear, your own special quarters. Why don't you freshen up and join us shortly? You must think us bores. Let me apologize. You're more than welcome in Manchester. And for the remainder of your stay, you're honored guests. And well, you don't think we're spies? Well, you may, you may accuse us of stupidity or even paranoia, but not gracelessness. We admit our errors when they're pointed out to us. Well, I don't understand who are your enemies. We've hardly seen a sign of life anywhere in the Ark. We haven't exchanged words with the enemy, for that matter, anyone in the Ark, since the Dome Wars. That huge door, the entrance to this biosphere, why do they lock you in like that? Well, that's a source of embarrassment. And grossly unfair. When the Ark set out, we were here specifically for the purpose of manufacturing small arms and handguns for the day that we might be encountering unfriendly territories. Well, as I understand it, things got a bit out of hand, and they came to believe that we were a danger to the Ark. They wanted to ban handguns, small arms, you know. Well, our people just weren't having any. So they sealed us off. Well, why didn't you blast your way out? Well, we couldn't. You don't know your metals, my friend. The main gate is composed of the hardest alloy there is. Blasting through it would take the top off the uh, dome. Besides, why open and invite the Goths and the Visigoths and the Vandals to tea? I know, I know, you told me. There aren't any. Mr. Smith, I assure you, there is no military force out there. Well, you've told us so much, uh, you must understand it's a little hard to absorb. But if what you say is true, I want you to understand something. I'm your man. Your good right arm. What do you mean? I don't understand you. I mean that my best engineers, my best brains are at your disposal. You lead us out. The very way that you yourselves came in, and I promise you that we here in Manchester will do everything in our power to help you solve the problems of the Ark. Well, they know something about engineering. They could do all the things that have to be done. If we could find the way out, I'm sure we could get the gate open. Mr. Smith could uh, get someone to work the mechanism. Well, now, don't, don't rush yourselves. After all, you're my guests. Trent, uh, show them some good, comfortable quarters here in the inner city. Ah, Rachel, I trust you enjoyed your new quarters. Trent was right about one thing. They are uncomplicated. But old Trent herself, well, she's not nearly as uncomplicated. No, we're going to have to uh, keep her in our sights. If what you say is true, we've been spending our lives for generations building armaments for a war that will never happen. Living in a paranoid isolation, in fear of enemies that don't exist, and all in the name of security. Whatever you've been doing, all I can do is tell you what I know. Now, there are other biospheres out there, just like your own, all isolated from one another. You're all mad, you know. Yes, we are mad. All of us. Mr. Smith, most of all. He represents the madness. Because it comes in the disguise of good intentions, like security. And wrapped with dedication. And even humor. But it's still madness. He wants a way out. To help you put the Ark on course, he says. But I don't trust him, Reverend. I don't trust him. You don't really know what goes on. You must never lead him out. Never show him the way. I'm warning you, all of you. Listen to me! Ah!
is this? The people are all savages. Yeah, Trent is his aide. How can he treat her like that? You gotta get out of here. We can't. You heard what she said. We're their prisoners. We couldn't find the way out even if they let us go. Yeah, well, I'm for trying right now. Look, you see Smith. We'll scatter around. Don't, don't stand on ceremony. Come on in. Come on. Where's Trent? Your guards attacked her. Well, I heard that she was arrested, but I can't believe she was treated brutally. Well, she was. A report on Trent's arrest. Trent arrested, charged, treason, resisted arrest, handled with minimum force, removed by stretcher. It's a lie. She wasn't even warned by the guards. She reached for her weapon, didn't she? Because the guards were armed. She had to protect herself. They dragged her out. There wasn't even a stretcher. No stretcher. I won't have people getting less than the best in medical attention. I want a full military report on all the circumstances surrounding Trent's arrest. What did you mean by treason? Aren't you getting rather deeply involved? What does Trent mean to you? You realize, of course, if she's convicted, you could be punished as an accessory. What's this? What's this have to do with it? War plans. Complete logistics for a full military attack on the Ark, drawn up in fine detail by your good friend Trent. This has to be a forgery. Why would she suggest an attack on the Ark? Where is she? I want to see her. She's being held incommunicado. Well, I want to make sure that she's all right. It can't be done. Now, you look. You want me to cooperate with you to find the secret exit. Why should we cooperate with someone who won't trust us to talk to one so-called criminal? Very well. One security clearance for a visit by our guest. She'll say anything you know. They always do, those traitors. First one we've seen in this biosphere. Doesn't look like it's been used for years. It's war equipment. Takes and guns. What's it doing here? I don't know. Now why would he have this arsenal here? Me, Devon. Why did they do this to you? I betrayed him. I was disloyal. It was the worst offense in his code. But why? Why, Trent? Just say doubts. Rising doubts. I was married, you see. And it became necessary for them to 
put my husband in the outer city. Of course, that meant death for him. Oh, I, I even accepted it. It's funny how easy it is to accept things and rationalize them when you're a member of the team. When you work for Smith, it's loyalty above all. Got to get you a doctor. No. I'm finished. No, you're not. Smith has wanted an investigation. <laughs> Poor Devon. You are naive. We're going to fight your case. He's accused you of drawing up a plan to attack the Ark. Now, obviously, it's a forgery. No, Devon. I drew up the plans. You did? Yes. He asked me to. Well, I had grave doubts, but I never thought we'd ever get out of the biosphere, so what was the harm? He won me a promotion. Now he can hold it against me as evidence. Committing Manchester to a dangerous and immoral war. Oh, thing. Get out, Devon. All of you, while you can. No. Not until you're released and your wounds treated. Don't forget, none of this would have happened if you hadn't tried to warn us. We're committed to you. You still have three friends, anyway. Exit forbidden. I wonder if this could be the way out. Let's find out.
Where's Rachel? Oh, she's in the woman's infirmary. She's all right. She sleeps, so don't you bother her. What happened to them? Oh, they were overcome by the air outside. I don't get you. Now, now, don't you worry. It's their first exposure, and only for a short time. Thank heavens the guards were looking for them. You know, a few hours longer, and recovery isn't guaranteed, you know. Garth. Why ever would they want to go out there? Garth. Garth, how do you feel? Where's Rachel? Oh, she's all right. She's in the woman's infirmary. You all right? Yeah. All right, I guess. We're not like lights. Didn't have time to drag Rachel to the iris. You just rest a while. You'll be all right. But remember, you've had your first exposure. You'll never come through it that easily again. Didn't anyone warn you not to go out? What's out there? Poison gas? I'm afraid that's just the ordinary atmosphere. Well, don't be so surprised. It's been like that for a long time. You have admittance to the inner city. You don't have to go out. But there are people out there. It was a woman with a sick child and a man with a cart collecting dead bodies. What's going on out there? Why, why do you die if you'd breathe the air? Well, those who live in that atmosphere survive. When you're not used to it, it kills more quickly. Well, don't they get medical treatment? If you have questions, put them to Mr. Smith, not to me. Well, that's not all we found. You know what's in here? A warehouse, a mile long, jammed with guns, tanks. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know, Smith said that they made small arms. Then what do they need those weapons for? Why are you stockpiling them? Please, no more questions. I have to do a final x-ray on you. Now he can see us, but he can't hear us. Over here, machine. Up against the machine. His hands behind your back. You've seen too much already. Don't you think he knows everything that happens? Everything we think? We gotta find a way out of here without letting him know. We can't take a chance on letting him loose in the ark. Get out how? We'd have to search the whole dome for an iris. Hasn't Smith tried that for years and failed? We found a way in. Even if the iris closed without a, without a trace, surely there must be an opening somewhere. What do we look for? What would Smith look for? An iris. Yet we know that no iris is visible inside this dome. Well, the dome walls are so covered in grime, even if there was an iris, you couldn't find it. Yeah. And yet, every iris has a computer module. Find a computer module and you know you're near an iris. Hey, wait a minute, we found one. Not an iris, but a module. We both saw it. Look, stop. You're terrified of him. D don't talk to me. He hates disloyalty. He punishes it. You know what he did to Trent? I don't know anything. He tortured her. He what? That's right. You've got to get her out of here. You'd never get by the guards. You could use your help. I can't help you. Please. We need weapons. The guards have them. You'd never get your hands on them. Look, we need time to hunt for the iris. Listen to me. Make your peace with Mr. Smith. He's too clever. Do what he wants, otherwise you'll be sent outside. You know what that means to all of you. You're not used to that air, you wouldn't last a day. No, with the guards. You said they were as vulnerable as we are, more so, because they've been exposed more. There must be face masks, something. Yes, if you need them, look for blue-faced lockers, but hurry. You haven't much time till Smith gets suspicious. Please, I can't block these monitors much longer. You want to come with us? Don't even say we talked. Go get the girl. Possessed you to fill your lungs with that garbage. You ought to thank my guards for keeping an eye on you. Well, some 
great mind long ago warned that all the world is a stage and everyone in it is a critic. You don't like our bias for you. There are people dying from those fumes. We're highly industrialized. They're prosperous and happy. What happened to your filtration system? <laughs> it's working more or less. It's a little overloaded and we did have to uh, build this inner city. That's, that's where we are now, of course. But it's, it's sealed. It has its own air supply. What about the people in the outer city? They're not happy and prosperous. Aren't you concerned about them? Are they just supposed to stay out there breathing that poison and die? There are women and children out there suffering. No one is helping them. You have medical aid here. Why don't you bring them in and treat them? How many people die every day who could be saved? How many people are dying right now? They're hardy people. They know the factories have to get on with it. They, 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 they don't mind making sacrifices for the nation. That's a callous attitude. Don't you teach me morality, miss. My family died out there. We're not immune in here. It seeps in. The vulnerable succumb. You think it's easy to, to evict your own kin? Then why do it? Because the healthy have to survive. They're the only administrators for the entire economy. And the tainted, they just use up scarce atmosphere. That is manufacturing gone mad. Why don't you stop it so you can all breathe? You don't understand pride and achievement. Do you realize that we are on the way to exceeding all production goals, to being the biggest suppliers in the galaxy? Suppliers of what? Armaments? Oh, armaments, yes. Of course, they told you about our warehouse. Well, you brought us good news. The dome wars are over, and you'll be pleased to know that we've, we've, we've converted to civilian production. Now, if you'll show us the way out, we'll evacuate the bad atmosphere, the Arx filtration system will take care of that easily. And then we're all for peaceful commerce. Trade, my boy, the good life for everyone. What about Trent? Yes, Trent. But it's true, the investigations show that she was treated roughly. And I'm furious, but I assure you, she's been released and is on her way home to recuperate. Do you expect me to believe that? Sir, you believe whatever you want to. But don't you come into my office, the head of state, and hurl insults at me. I'm not in the habit of being cross-examined. You say Trent's gone home? Yes. Yes, exactly. And, and she's recovering rapidly. I, I want her well again. I, I want her with me. I need her. I miss her. I know that her loyalty to my administration is unimpaired. And I'm going to need her now more than ever, especially now that we're initiating new programs. I don't want your trust just for personal or egotistical reasons. Devon, you've shown me something. You've shown me that we're all interdependent. I'm dependent upon you three. Look, if we're to join the biospheres in trade and cultural exchange, you are the ones who are going to make it possible. You've got to show us the way out. better do it, Devin. Not just for his benefit, but for ours. If we're going to get the Ark back on course, we'll need his help. All right, we'll do it. You will. You'll, you'll show us the Iris exit? You have my guards at your disposal. We won't need your help, thank you. As you wish, my boy, as you wish. What about Trent? She's been expelled. Well, Smith sent her home to recuperate. He released her from jail. She's been sent outside to die.
Your screen's been troubling me for some time. But she'll wait. Do you think they can really find a way out of the biosphere, Mr. Smith? My dear, I've never wished fugitives better luck in my life. These are the masks the nurse told us about. dead for me? Just making one trip tonight. Trout! 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 Put your mask back. Why? I haven't got long to live. We're going to take you with us. Get away from here. <clears throat> Don't trust Smith. Don't believe him. He said he wants to open the way to the Ark. He wants to clear the air here with the Ark's filtration system. You can't let all that poison in here. It, it poison the Ark. Everybody out there will die. The only hope is to... Close down plants. Sooner or later, the filtration system will take care of itself. All right. <laughs> hey, hey, you can't do that, eh? <laughs> What do you want her for? She's dying anyway. Get you to the infirmary. The nurse will help you. She can't help now. I've been out too long. I've passed the point of absorption. Find your way out. Leave me here. We'll take you with us. Where did you see the computer module? It's over there. If it's not that one, there's got to be another one nearby. All right, give me a hand. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That doesn't make sense. Why haven't we been followed? I haven't seen any sign of a guard anywhere. Smith offered us the guards, but we turned him down. He expects us to find the iris. No, oh, he's too smart. Why would he let us go alone? He could find the iris and just disappear. You think he's watching us? Yes, I think he's around here somewhere. Smith! Why don't you come over and see Trent? Get a good look at what you've done to her. What are you doing? You bring him out of the woodwork. That's crazy. Well, Why don't we just let the computer do it and we'll leave quietly? He's watching us. He wants to see exactly what we do, and then he's going to follow us. Come on out, Smith! Come on, Mr. Smith, what are you waiting for? Now what kind of a game are they playing? All right, Smith! Come on, we know you're out there. He can't be armed, sir. Of course not. Not with that equipment lying out there. You are a dumb bunny. 
They can't have Trent with them. She's dead by now. Come on out, Smith! Be careful, Mr. Smith. How's Trent? Come and see! Come on, then. They're armed. Let's try and even that out. Give me a hand. This looks like the safety. Okay. Now, when you want to fire, press that and that at the same time. to you. But you're the one that's dying, my dear, not me. You've never felt anything for anybody. I've felt everything there is to feel. I loved my husband. I grieved for him. I felt compassion for those you punished. Have only the exuberance of power. And when that's gone, what have you left? I'll try to make a run for it. She's dead.
open fire, but be sure not to hit them. Now! Asks, you fool. How long do you think we can live in this? The lockers are empty, sir. That's my exposure limit. Move! Move! We're leaving. You'll never get away, Devon. If there's one place we've searched for security purposes, it's this warehouse. We'll get masks and we'll be back! You haven't heard the end of me yet! We've got to find a way out. Where that computer still works? Works for what? There's no iris. Well, I've got my key. It's worth a try. Man, we'll come back. Unless he gets out first. <laughs> 